Hi, it's Lynn Langett. This is part three of my screencast on using a Facebook Open Graph API. So in my scenario here for teaching kids programming website, I want to have a custom um, uh, publish to the Facebook timeline um, showing whenever the kids make a, make a recipe. So what I did is I got rid of all the default object types and I created a recipe type. Um, then I created build for when they coded it up and run for when, you know, maybe they showed it to their parents and just executed the application. And then I created two aggregations or views, recipes I coded and recipes I ran. Now an interesting thing is, like I was saying in the previous screencast, when you um, work with this, you have to make a sample publish so that the Facebook people can review what you're doing, make sure it's not spamish. This was really hard and I didn't find um, uh, a quick way to do this uh, until I uh, spent a little bit of time thinking about it. The documentation says you have to like put up a web page, which I guess isn't that hard, but I didn't want to do it. So um, I'll show you a trick that will help you out. So if I go here and I go to the open graph and I go back to where I was and I go to um, this uh, submit on watch and I click submit, it's going to say I can't do it because I have to publish it. So a um, couple things that you're going to want to do um, with your custom actions is um, you can, and you have to have a Mac, well you don't have to, but it's much easier if you have a, a Mac OS to do this, if you just use terminal and you paste in this, this um, curl command, this will do a sample post um, and that will be, that will be sufficient for the requirements and then you can get this thing published so you can actually work with it. And I liked that workflow rather than making a web page and so I like checking it through through that way first. So that's my that's my tip, um, and then you can delete it using this. But I guess you'd have to download um, some kind of program that works with this on Windows, which I think there are. But I just I have a dual boot uh, Mac uh, Book Air, so I just brought it up on the Mac side, opened up Terminal, pasted this in, and it worked. And it was really fast, and I didn't see it in anywhere else. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So um, let me go back to and and show you a little bit of what I did with the teaching kids programming in terms of the open graph. So um, what I did is I created this recipe type which is our lesson and I'm going with the default properties and I can add a custom property um, if I want to and I'm going to add, uh, I, I can add it here, I can add it actually in the action, I added it in the action um, and that property I added was the language they coded it in because we have Java and Small Basic. So there's a lot of customization you can do here. Also you can um, uh, you can edit the preview. So what I did here is I just put a, a, a preview to an image. Now my image is actually too big and I got a warning on that. It doesn't display quite right. So, you know, I've got some work to do still. And uh, then this would be the post. This is what, you know, I was able to post up using that curl in the terminal to uh, test out my action. Um, so you first create the object. And then the second thing that you do is, let me just go off here, is you have to wire this up to um, an action. And I didn't have any actions, so I created a new action. Now notice you have these default actions, or you can just type in here. So I can say, um, I can say smile. Um, they can smile at an object, which makes no sense, right? But if you say submit, which they would probably reject, of course, and then you want to going to get a list of objects that can smile at a at a profile. Okay, if that were the case, and then you would go ahead and you'd see how you want this displayed. So that's the, and if you want to add properties, you can add them right here. So it's a, it's a GUI, so it's pretty, pretty easy to do, um, and it's pretty well documented inside again of the Facebook developers page. So if I didn't want this one, I could just take it off. Now when you go to submit, yes, I want to delete it, um, you have to have that published. So like I have these two actions here, and this one I haven't uh, done my publish yet with the curl, so I can't publish it. Now after um, you submit it, then uh, Facebook will approve it, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see you get an approve, and then you wire this um, into your application. So um, the steps to do this are you create your application, you use the default objects, you customize new ones, you test it, which I'll show you in the next video, and then you wire it up. And again, this is Lynn Langett, one more video, and we'll be done looking at working with the open graph.